Right, it's more Viking time now. I will just say, if you randomly stumbled upon this channel or this playlist or whatever, and I've just been watching it, well, thank you, first of all. But also, I'm literally been recording it. This is still day two, uh, and I don't know what episode we are in right now, actually, but day two, and I'm just loving it. I'm loving every second of it. So, roll the bloody in. <clears throat> Ah, welcome back. Are you crazy here? And uh, yeah, good thing I didn't show you the last uh, two matches because I would have lost it completely. Um, we did smash Aston Villa first, which was a good result, and we played really well. We then played Arsenal, which was a very even game. Uh, still loads of mistakes that just somehow wasn't punished. It's the only thing I can say. We then played Manchester United. I think we went one nil up, and uh, like we were playing really, really well. The, we were actually, the stats were completely even the entire game. Two humongous mistakes led to Manchester United goals. Just us passing it to a United player and then they ran down and scored. I, it's almost as if you can predict it, in it. But, yeah. Right, let's check Sivaspor. What is Sivaspor? Profile. Is that where you see it? Sivaspor are three stars. We are three and a half stars. Let's see them make mistakes. Right, so for this first leg versus, well, Sivaspor, um, it's going to be a bit of a <laughs> rotated side because, as you can see, many of our players are just knackered. I don't know why that is, by the way, but I'm having a real issue with uh, players being knackered all the time. I have to rest Delaney, Eriksson, Vess. I have to rest them all the time. And, I'm, of course, I'm resting after every match. I still have to give them, like, a week off and stuff. Like It's it's mental. I just think it's Europa League, maybe. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it's not optimal and uh, of course registration issues and all sorts but um yeah this is the lineup we're gonna go with for the first leg it's Schmeichel and gold Vass on the right back and then Christensen Anderson Sko and left back you know our right winger who actually can play left back which is good I mean he doesn't tackle very well but hopefully we don't need him to do that then it's Hoybia and Billing in the middle Boon Larsen on the right now and uh, Lucas Anderson in the middle um at the AMC because, yeah, Christian Eriksen needs a rest. Dolba on the left, that's the inside forward. And then Yusuf Paulsen up front. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are injured and not fit at all. Like, pairs are knackered. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we, according to the um, reputation listing, we should be winning this uh, fairly comfortable. So, let's do that. Right, well, Sivaspor are also playing the 4 2 3 1. And they actually have Max Gradle, who I'm sure many people will recognize, was at Bournemouth for a while. Um, <clears throat> so. It's not a completely useless team, but, you know, you kind of, you expect us to win this one. And, uh, yeah, Smeichel will perform. Was it Smeichel? I don't know. I don't, I don't read these things anymore. I just click number two and everyone's happy. Right, well, as, of course, we're playing in Turkey, so their fans are going to go absolutely mental. Um, yeah, Sikeria Sankaplanka or something. That's definitely not what it is. Sanka plan. That doesn't sound Turkish at all, but yeah, not good. Not a great start. Ferhat just uh, crosses. No, it's ooh, ooh. And then, yeah, I mean, it's a great, it's a great header, but uh, yeah. Of course, this is only the first leg, and uh, if we get a few away goals, then everything should be dandy, right? But not a good start. I mean, okay, just do that then, yeah. It's fine. Let's win 5-1 then instead of 4-0. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, let's see. Fancy. Okay, never mind. That angle was cute though, but no, 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 no. Oh, this is very slow actually. Oh. Boom. Paulson with the... Um, yeah. Sorry. I, I, my brain froze there. Um, good goal. And yeah. God damn it. I'm definitely going to get a rash or something from wearing this all the time as Boon Larsen goes close to the header. It's so itchy right here on my upper lip, and there's thingy majiggies that go into my nose when I'm breathing. I guess I should just stop breathing then, maybe. As we pile on the pressure still, 75% uh, uh, possession, which is, uh, yeah. I mean, they don't even have enough players to feel. Let's score. Are they just going to score here? I can't you can barely see the ball there. Okay, Max Gradle to Fajr. And Gradle again. Ogun. Oh, it's so ticklish. Okay, we win the ball back. Paul Larsen. 
Are we gonna? Paulson, who? Yeah, he's not gonna score from there. Of course, I do live in Turkey, so I should be able to pronounce all these names, but not fast and not without practicing for two minutes. And uh, yeah, I have a different series in my mind at some point. Well, it's already made and everything. It's going to be in the Turkish Premier, uh, not in Premier League, the lower leagues, which would be fun. So we can all learn some Turkish pronunciation together. <clears throat> but yeah, right now we're focusing on, I was going to say the Danish League, but no. Right, well, can we get a foothold on this game? Because, I mean, oh, that was actually pretty sneaky from Mr. Poles in there. Just kind of chipped him, right? Good job, lads. Sivaspor were caught napping. Yeah, probably. I mean, they're kind of doing what I would be doing to versus United, which is passing it to the wrong players. So, boop, and then he just chipped him. Nicely done, Mr. Yusuf. Who has been surprisingly good this season. I mean, 14 goals in 24 matches, apparently. As What's that? Skull is, uh, well, going off. Is he proper injured? Or, I mean, it's not staying anywhere, so... Oh, has they just smashed us in the top corner? Okun Sutju. Yes, perfect pronunciation. As, let's see this again, because that was a pretty good great goal. So it's Okun on the edge of the area, and they just smashed us in the top corner. For once, Kasper Schmeichel actually had no chance. Uh, Obatsko is actually recovering, so I'm just going to keep him out there for now. Let's see. I mean, he almost had an assist there, so it would have been, would have been good. But well, apparently it was offside as well. Linesman were going mental. Sko was involved again, not in a good way though, as we just kind of throw the ball away. And are we going to... Okay, we do tackle him. Noise. Last to pull, are we going to counter from here? I mean, there's... So much space here. Just keep running. Okay, yes, he stops, of course. Vass, is he gonna cross it? Dolpe? I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but Boon Larsen has scored his 11th goal of the season. Well done, lad. Well done indeed. And tell them to focus because uh, we don't need to see it again. Can you just. Holy moly, that was a. Okay, I thought for a second there we were gonna do something very, very bad. But. Apparently not on this occasion, at least. But well, there's still time. You can see I, Smike was thinking about it. But nice build-up, actually. And now Dolberg is very isolated here, but... Is it pen? I mean, it's definitely not pen, but... Is this going to be, like, the longest highlight in the history of uh, Football Manager, or...? I mean, we're building it nicely. Okay, she just... I mean, that was... That was insane. I was going to say... Just shoot so they don't counter, but yeah, he smashes in the top corner. Great goal from Boon Larsen again. Let's see this again. So good hold up play by Paulsen. Then Hoivia finds Boon Larsen and then just one touch and then bangs it in the far corner. Keeper probably could have done better, right? It's a bit, the angle was good for him to save it, but we're not complaining. I mean, what is that? I mean, it's clearly outside the bloody area, so I don't know why we're watching this. No penalty! What a shock! Because it was clearly outside the area. So why are we wasting our time? Is he at least going to get a booking? No, he's given a warning. What? what? I mean, Jesus. Okay, are we going to score from it then? Well, we go close at least, so... What about the corner? Is the VAR going to be effective in this game? Guess not. Let's say, I guess, score now from a counter, but new. No. No goals so far. I mean, two. <laughs> what What do you even say? I'll just say delighted, but I mean, now they're definitely going to score two, uh, make it tense, but yeah. Okay, so Sivaspor clear from the back. Gradle is pushing forward, and Coyote and Schmeichel. Um, comfortable? Yeah, of course, the corner material says to absolutely nothing, as we're going to try and build from the back now, maybe. Thinking about making some changing, but. Uh, let's see this highlight up first. Hopefully we get another goal, which would ease my nerves a little bit. Oh, Larsen is very far down as a right winger. And that pass is absolute dog doo-doo. Um, okay, and then we steal the ball back. I mean, this is just pathetic. And then he smashes it wide. It wasn't even close. Right, Dolba is having a very bad game. Let's get just brave for it, but then swap these two around. So they both play on their more, like, natural position. 
I mean, I guess Braithwaite prefers to play up front, but... Um, I mean, what a shambles this is, man. Dolbert, are we going to shoot from there? Are we going to do anything? Paulson? Is it offside? No. No, it is not. And he gets his hat trick. Well done indeed, Mr. Paulson. And great assist from Skull. Remember, I was thinking about replacing him earlier because he was a bit knackered, but... Uh, yeah. It's a great, great uh, cross from Skull. And yeah, he definitely is onside. And Paulson finishes. I mean, he can't do that versus United where we had like three or four clear-cut chances. Um... Alone with the goalkeeper, or even so, the keeper like it was an open goal, and he somehow managed to get the shot blocked. Very infuriating. Okay, Von Larsen is on his hat check as well. I mean, he does, but he doesn't get it on this occasion. Let's do some changes then, because well, I don't know. Uh, actually, should we do some changes? I mean, let's get Simon K on because why not? Let's get Joachim Mele on. Why not? Those were just like yeah. Let's just get those on because why not? Um. Skull is out again. I, I I guess I should be changing him then. <clears throat> oh, he's, I think he's back on the field at least, but are they going to score as well? No. Okay, let's just make the last changes then, because Skull, I don't want him to get injured, and Dumizi can slot right in there. Do we have anything else that we want to do? Anything funky? Kruse? Any youngsters that we want to put on? Nah. Let's just put Schultz on as well. Because, yeah, he is a man of many, many errors, Mr. Schultz. I mean, this... Oh, my God. Straight to the cradle. Like, what is going on? And are they going to... Oh, that is a devilish little... Okay, Mele. He is just... Do you remember how I said he doesn't defend? Well, he's, like, the best defender in the world. The amount of times that we've seen him do those tackles. It's amazing. Maybe we do need to gamble on him the next season. <laughs> Is this... Are, are, are we on? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was... Um, well, that was very... Us-esque, <laughs> to say that. Let's see this again. So, nothing is to worry about here by Gradle. Just take the ball and run, or pass it to this guy, right? But no, he just lashes it into the middle, and then first time volley from Braithwaite. That's almost Braith Braithinho-esque, uh, but mm, not on this occasion. Kia wants to score as well, but doesn't. There we go. 6-2 away. I mean, I'm very happy. Yeah, well done. Let's see if anyone are actually bloody injured, because that's usually what happens. So, yeah, actually. 1-3 to three days, 1-2 to two days. That is fine. Fine with me. And let's praise Mr. Polson for a nice hat-trick, if the game allows me. But, um, yeah. Gonna play Crystal Palace in three days, but I'm gonna skip past that and then get to the second leg. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. Right, gang, welcome back for the second leg. Now, uh, yeah, we did play one match in between, and uh, surprise, surprise, we lost to Crystal Palace, my bogey team. Such a frustrating one. We dominated, of course, but, yeah. Christian Eriksen missing a penalty and all sorts. It was just one of those games, right? Uh, but, yeah, let's get into the second leg, at least, uh, where we should be rather comfortable. And uh, we're actually doing loads of rotation because, well, why on earth not? So Mele, Kea, Anderson and Dumisi are going to play at the back. Then we have Hoybia Billing in the middle. Sko, Anderson, Dolbea uh, behind Yusuf Poulsen. Should I actually start? Yeah, let's go on. Let's start Mr. Braithwaite for a change. And let's make him, uh, let's make him an, an advance forward. Why not? I told the lads to not get complacent because, uh, well, that's what you do. Like, still have to work hard to make sure. And uh, frankly, I just want to experience maybe a clean sheet. That would be fun. Uh, while still scoring a few goals here and there. That would be fun, right? I think we can all agree that for that. We can all enjoy that. As Mele is now going forward. Mele to Anderson. Lucas Anderson, who's now playing instead of Eriksen, of course. Gets off with the goal. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy now. That's not nice and easy unless you're Jareth. I shot the Jareth. Of course, my singing skills were just demonstrated in the first match. Uh, but In the first episode, I mean, but... Let's just calm our voice for now. I mean, I have been talking literally all day as I've been playing this. Dolbert! <laughs> Very close from Dolbert. Good effort, though. Another bloody highlight. And these highlights are just so weird. They last for bloody ever. Uh, okay, let's just counter. Fast. No. Okay, Ali can. I guess it's because we're both rubbish and we just keep uh, throwing away the ball. Um, I don't know what SI wants. 
I mean, the open is you gonna make a. I mean, that was just impossible. So, why are we so bad at defending? I don't understand. Oh, yeah, that's that. The end of the first half. Uh, might be winning, but don't let your performance drop. Honestly, just get out there. I mean, can we just. Can you just like, blow the whistle now, ref? Because, yeah, we're bound to get more injuries as Braithwaite goes very close. So it was a brilliant save. I think it was offside, anyways, but yeah. Now, Sivas Spore come forward. Speaking of playing, by the way, uh, Dalbay, of course, is replacing Mr. Fisher out on the left, at least for a bit, because Fisher wanted to play loads. So I promised him he would play loads, and he has been as they score a goal. Can't we just get a. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, but now he's kicking off saying I didn't play him enough, so now he wants to leave, and, uh, yeah, okay, he was offside. Well, thanks so much for that. I don't need to see it again, please. Can we just end this game? I'm I'm bored of Steve Spore. I'm bored of watching us play terrible football. At least terrible defending. Holy moly. Okay, Dalbert is really struggling now, so I'm going to have to get him off. Who do we put on? I guess we just put Spoon Larsen on. We'll do all sorts now. Schultz can come in instead of Anderson and... Fischer? Nah, because he's whining, so why bother? Um, but we're going to leave that for now, and then wait a little bit, and then just put some youngsters on. Und Larsen is now struggling. Are you having a laugh? And Dumis is definitely going to get sent off now. And yes, he is indeed. Second yellow card to Mr. Und Larsen. Well then, well then, well then, what do we do now? And Und Larsen is, well, oh no. Un Lassen is injured, but Dumisi got a second red card. Okay, Un Lassen needs to come off. <sighs> what do I do? I'm gonna put this guy. He's a random youngster. That's, why is it saying three and a half star there? I was getting super excited. Put Mr. That guy down there, and then put random youngster down there too. <laughs> and then, yeah. Let's just end this game right now, okay, lads? No, I'm just gonna go in defensive. We're five goals ahead. Last change, maybe? Why not? Let's put the other youngster on uh, instead of Hoybia. I'm not even going to bother changing anything. I just want to get rid of this mess. So now we have like three youngsters on the pitch. Well, at least we will after this highlight. But what's going on there? Mele? And uh, yeah, that's probably good because we're going to have to gamble a lot on the youngsters. Oh, let's go very close. Uh, the next season, because of the whole registration and Brexit thing, um, I'm not quite sure how we're going to survive this, but we're going to have to just go youth or go home. And there we have it. 1-0, pretty underwhelming, but, you know, we just get it get it done, and uh, yeah, so far so good. Right, well, sadly, the Euro Cup, the next draw isn't for God knows how long, so, oh, rest of all, before I forget, yes, 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 rest. Two days, okay, that's fine. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're gonna, what we're gonna do, but uh, yeah, we the well, it's already happening. So I guess we're gonna come back for some Euro Cup action. Yes, indeed. Whoever we're playing. So uh, I hope you like this one, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'll see you in an hour <laughs> in my time, and uh, you'll see me well tomorrow perhaps. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. And uh, till next time.